Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little update this evening. And I don't know how many of you may have watched our, pro, our excuse me, our um, Patreon channel where I spoke about Ukraine getting the kamikaze drones from the United States. I, I think that's where I put it. Of course, I may have just put it on the regular news. I totally forget now exactly where it was at. Uh, a lot of times when things are coming from Intel, that's why I actually make that comment the way that I do. Uh, at any rate there, Ukraine, as this uh, this notice came out here, kamikaze drone struck the Nova Shaktinsk oil refinery in Rostov Oblast, Russia, causing a large fire. Um, and, you know, again, uh, this is a technology that the United States uh, was handing over to the Ukrainians. And I remember with one of the advisors there uh, on this situation there was very upset when they were uh, there before the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, saying, why are we giving Ukraine all of our technology, basically exposing our hand uh, to Russia of everything that we have and how we have it? Well, not only do we have that, but we also have uh, this article that just came out uh, let me pause that video there. The article that just came out here, uh, nuclear facility explosion in Iran was not an accident. And now the Iranians are saying that this uh, this plant here in Russia was hit by a, uh, no, no less, but a kamikaze suicide type of drone. Uh, when you read in the article there. Uh, and nobody's taking responsibility, but of course, uh, uh, the, 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 the places targeted because of the, uh, you know, the uh, alleged dealings of Iran with nuclear weapons. Uh, so <laughs> I'll tell you what, so you know where they're coming from is the whole point, right? Also, we have here a uh, thread coming out on Twitter. The Belarusian Armed Forces build up fortifications along the borders with Ukraine, Poland, and Lithuania. The locations of all the trenches are equipped with firing points. Well, you know, if you're using a kamikaze drone, you're using it inside of Russia, uh, which, you know, I guess in, when you're dealing with war, everything's got to be uh, fair to some degree. So you do have to remember that... Uh, you know, Russia is engaging a war inside Ukraine, so I guess you could only expect Ukraine to reach outside of Russia. Of course, they have to have U.S. technology to be able to do that, and they now have that to do just exactly that. But Belarusian forces are preparing too, because you've already got this situation now uh, with Kaliningrad, where Lithuania has cut off the railroad track that runs from uh, Russia to Belarus inside from Belarus into Kaliningrad. It's kind of been an agreement that they were allowed to do that. And now that's been stopped. So Belarus is digging in, getting ready for war themselves. It's not looking very good. At least 1,000 people were killed and many more, 1,500 others injured after a 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck southeastern Afghanistan near the border with Pakistan, the state-run uh, Bakhtar news agency said. I kind of find this interesting because I know that this asteroid that the Pentagon uh, was watching, they had not really announced it, passed, I think, on the 20th there. Uh, they did anticipate, as I said, earthquakes, uh, volcano activity. Uh, we have seen, uh, you know, a little surge of that. But like I told you, it wasn't, I really wasn't expecting anything major. Uh, there was a slight probability uh, that they could have a polar flip as a result of all this. Uh, but, uh, of course, didn't like we had any of that. I narrowed this down, though, on the USGS, uh, not USGS, but the volcano uh, and earthearthquakes.com, only to 5.0 and larger. And I did it in the past 48 hours, uh, which would have kind of covered there. And we did have several of these rascals going off during that time, as you can see, uh, going all the way down here. Uh, this was a 5.0. Um, they call that the South Sandwich Islands. Then you had the one in Iran, 5.3. Afghanistan, uh, 5.9. Uh, you had, I don't know why they have put a 3.7. I only did 5.0. It was a bigger one. I did it. 5.9 also in the Boinan Islands of the Japan region. Uh, so 
quite a few there were going off there. Uh, I don't know if they have new volcanoes going off, but you can definitely see a lot of volcanoes uh, are active as of right now, uh, going from Mexico uh, right on down, Fugo Volcano. Um, you know, if you, if you zoom into these things here, you know, but there again, I, I don't know if there's new volcano activity. I don't actually how to adjust the map for that. So earthquake was about the only thing I could really look at. So I wanted to kind of look at that for you guys. Uh, I didn't look at the smaller stuff. I mean, if you drop it down to a size four, especially over in the region here, that's really, wow, and the size four. Look at the number of those things there in uh, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan. Um, Wow, look at all the ones in Kazakhstan. That, that This, by the way, and I can see where that could have been an asteroid uh, kind of related. You just don't get that many earthquakes up in that area. Um, normally when we look at earthquakes, it's all over here in the Pacific Island regions, uh, over the United States. If you, you know, if you go over across, you know, you get them over there, Mexico, South America, stuff like that. But... I mean, occasionally, yeah, Iran, Afghanistan, occasionally, but all the way up into Kazakhstan, uh, also into uh, China, northern China, 4.2. Look at this, just a whole flurry of these things there. Um, I can't quite zoom in enough there. That's all in China, too, there. For a lot of 4.0s, 4.1, 4.3. That's up in Kazakhstan as well. And again, like I said, though, the, this whole region, even here in, uh, what is that? Uh, gosh, Nepal, India, I believe that. No, yeah. Nepal, excuse me. Um, all through there, also a whole swarm of four point and higher quakes in that region there. So, um, like I said, very unusual to see that. And maybe this asteroid is what caused that increase in those areas there. That's just my guess there. Pakistan, it looks like, is what, no, that's still Afghanistan. And uh, let me just kind of zoom back into that area. It looks like they got several over there. That could be from that 5.9. That is a 4.5 in that region, so I'm not really sure. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of look at that because I knew that they said there would be an uptick in those things, and they sure and sure enough was. Um, so we want to look at the other parts of the world there. We just see it all in those areas there. Like I said, places that you don't normally see that type of activity. Not very often, anyway. Uh, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And I was going to share something that my wife sent to me. I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, and I don't, let's see, maybe I can just show it to you guys. Let's see. Via the, she sent me this picture and I didn't have a chance to forward it to you guys, but it's kind of cute the way she sent this to me. Uh, she saw this at the mall the other day. And uh, let me see, I'll take and jump over here to see, make sure you guys can see this. Right, here we go. All right. Now, if you notice a little Geico sign there and the gecko there down at the bottom there waving, and it says, we're here. My wife asked me, she says, well, do you get it? Do you get the message, right? Uh, I didn't get it. I have to admit, I actually didn't get it uh, exactly what she was talking about there. But then she enlightened me on it. And then, wow, are you talking about makes sense? We're here. The reptilians are here. Now, oddly enough, uh, a sister that uh, we know here in Tennessee had mentioned to us that she was someplace, I forget where it was, or mentioned to my wife, didn't mention to me, but mentioned to my wife, and uh, said that people came by walking, they were dressed, I think, I want to say she said in suits, but she said every one of them had like a lizard type of head. I don't know if she's seeing that in a spiritual realm or what it was, but I thought that that was very interesting, especially in light of the fact that the reptilians are known to have a lizard type of head. So when they say we're here, that subliminal message may have 
a lot more impact than what we realize. I'm Stephen Benoon. Thank you for watching Israeli News Live. You guys have a great evening.